Hello everyone, I'm your host Sakuma, welcome back to another episode of Morrowind. I would just like to point out right now that if I was playing Batman Arkham City, this would be a playground right now. Well, assuming it was dark. Today, we are going to explore Soul Slime a little bit, with no particular objective in mind. However, I would like to open up a few quests just in case I happen to come across some people or circumstances out in the wilderness where we are going to explore. A pleasant Greetings, evening to you, citizen. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, good to meet you both too. Severia Gratius is a character who appears after you've done a particular quest for the fort. We need to ask her about, as she says, Moon Sugar Investigation. You're new at Frostmoth, so I guess you haven't heard. Over the past couple of months, several people across Soul Slime have been poisoned with Moon Sugar. Someone has been slipping it into their food and wine. They experience temporary euphoria and then complete exhaustion. I've been charged with finding the culprit and bringing him to justice. Recently, our cult priest, Jaylene, was poisoned, so it is now officially an Imperial matter. If it were just the locals, the Empire couldn't be bothered, but now one of our own has been affected. Last week, our cult priest was stricken with moon sugar euphoria after drinking some wine. I don't have the manpower to deal with this problem, but my superiors are getting impatient. He wants the culprit dead. I know you're not a member of the Imperial Legion, but I'd like to hire you to help in the investigation. I'll make it worth your while. Are you interested? If you actually are a member of the Imperial Legion, you'll get a special reward for doing this. Nothing too remarkable that you'll keep forever, but a different reward. Or, an additional reward. Anyway, uh, even if it is an Imperial matter, and we do have other things to do, uh, we've got nothing to do right now, so might as well tell her that we can help out. It's simple, really. I want you to kill the man responsible for the moon sugar poisonings. Jalene, our cult priest, was re the most recent victim, and he actually caught a glimpse of the culprit. It was a man wearing, oddly enough, a unique white Colovian fur helm. Bring me this white helm, and I'll know the deed is done. Now go speak with Jalene at the cult shrine here in Fort Frostmouth before you depart. He may have some more information. Which we will definitely do. Oh, Jalene! There you are. Nice to see you. Good to see you as well. Yeah, Moon Sugar Investigations. Yes, I too was stricken with Moon Sugar Euphoria. It was just last week after cult service. I sat down to some wine and moments later realized something was wrong. I'm a law-abiding man, Kevin, and have never experienced anything so free in all my life. The laughing, the dancing, it was horrible. <laughs> and then as I drifted off, I saw him. A strange man, old and frail. Certainly no Nord, wearing a white Colovian fur helm, but even stranger was his silly son. It's rather embarrassing, really. I mean, I was deeply affected by the moon sugar, and I'm not even sure I can trust my own recollections. But, well, I heard singing. It was a very strange tune, more like a nursery rhyme. Something you'd sing to a child, maybe. I only caught a little of it. Something about a workshop in the snow and lanterns all aglow. And I remember something about candy. Oh, yes. And there were lots of hee-hee-hees and ha-ha-hoes. <laughs> it's all so absurd, I know. A little bit, yeah. Can't get enough of it up here. If we could export it, we'd all be rich. Yeah, great. Oh, and I think that this guy also has an important cult matter on his mind as well. I'm pretty sure we won't be able to finish up this quest for quite a while, but if we're going to be wandering around, we might as well open it up. Maybe we'll get lucky. You see, my protege, Marisa, left the shrine over a month ago for those forsa frozen, forsaken wastes. I got that backwards. Her challenge was to bring the word of the Imperial cult to the local savages. She hasn't returned, and I fear the worst. Do 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 do. What else would you call them? They're hardly civilized with all that barren wolf worship, and they even recognize the nine divines. Oh, and they hardly even recognize the nine divines. Most Nords are too busy worshiping heathen gods like <laughs> Alduin and Orke. That's why Marisa's missionary work is so important. Okay. She has a passion for preaching. She thought that she, that she could be the most effective by spreading the tenets of the Imperial cult to the residents of Solsheim. It's dangerous but necessary work. Her journeys into the wild have been very successful in the past, but Marisa never returned from her last outing. I fear something terrible has happened to her. I don't suppose you would be willing to look for Marisa. She means a great deal to me. That is, she... Uh, her work is very important to the Imperial cult. You have the look of an adventurer about you, Kevin. If you could find Marisa and return her to me, I would gladly empty the shrine's coffers into your purse. She left here over a month ago and headed north, toward Lake Vijaldin. You should begin your search in that area. And Lake Vijaldin is... a big lake toward the northeast. Of course, it's covered by ice, so it's not much... it's not of much use. 
If we check our world map, it's probably going to be this spot up here. Well, that's quite a ways out there. And that, to my knowledge, I think that the moon sugar investigation leads us to about where my arrow is now. So I think that we'll go out in that, in that direction. Now, we're not going to be looking for this thing specifically, but if we happen to come across it, then we might as well investigate. I'm just going to plan today to not plan. We are going to go out into the wilderness, explore any interesting locations, and when we run out of time, that'll be the end of the episode. And we'll probably be doing the same thing tomorrow because nothing else is really requested. So, this weekend it's going to be about exploring soul slime. And explore we shall. But first we need to find something to explore. I am going to explore this bush. I am going to hide in this bush. Kevin is very well camouflaged with his glass armor and skull on his head. I'm going to sneak over here though and pick these plants. This is my adventure. Kevin needs more adventure in his life right now. Let's go find something better to do. Something more fun. We need something to dig into like a tomb or a crypt or a valley. This looks interesting. Where does this lead me to? Actually, this is pretty cool. Are these things named? Not really. It's kind of foggy suddenly, too. Oh, hey, wolves! Mean wolves! There you go, die. Not sure if the first hit killed him, and then he died after falling over, but... That one's dead. These guys are dead. I will take your corpses. And then dump the rest of your body that is not your pelt. Man, it is really snowing out here, isn't it? Oh wait, am I on top of something? Uh, if I am, I can't see it. It looks like there should be something hidden right in here. I bet that there is, and it's only going to open up for us after we get to a certain point in a certain quest. Nothing right there, though. This really does look like an interesting part of the landscape. Feels like there should be something special here, but there's not. Maybe if I go down... Uh, toward the river. Still not seeing anything. Oh, there's another wolf. It's not a blight storm, it's a snowstorm. Kevin has terrible luck with weather. Uh, anything in these rocks? Doesn't look like it. No, not really. I'm hoping that we won't find any, uh, spriggans today. Bears I'm fine with. Wolves I'm fine with. Fries, hags, and berserkers less fine with. But, ooh, that's interesting. But uh, Spriggan's not so much. Sunstone. Suddenly Kevin's gloom has evolved into a blossom. He would have had a Sunflora, but really he wants to have a Sunkern, or a Sunflora for that matter. Hello over there. Can I sneak up on him? Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Can I stab you while I'm sneaking? Yes, I did. Wow. Smooth. And there's no enemies nearby, but it's going to continue anyway. Well, let's duck inside wherever this is and see if we can find more friends to play with. After I harvest these things, of course. Skog's Drake Barrow. Okay. We want to stay in sneak mode as well. Maybe I'll activate it. There we go. Activate it long term so we don't accidentally turn it off. Nothing immediately around the corner. Ah, chest! But keep an eye out for enemies. There's nothing. Okay. Ah, dang it. Kinda should have expected that. Seems like everything in here is gonna be locked or trapped or whatever. Oh my word, that's a lot in here! And it was only a 30 level lock? Spirit Strike Green. Bargain Restore Hell. I'll leave that. Standard restored. Okay. Ripen Belladonna. Scroll of Unhinging. Firebite Star. Dire Shard Blade. I'll leave that one. Steel Crossbow. I don't see crossbows very often. That's worth a lot. Helm of. <laughs> and Shield of Wounds. Yeah, I've got plenty of those two already. That was quite a haul! Wow! It's probably going to be somebody right around this corner so I can't unlock that chest very easily, though, right? Nope. This one has less. <laughs> One arrow of each. Oh, very nice. Bargain Restore, I probably shouldn't have taken it. I accidentally did. 
Huh. Is this place really devoid of all life? I mean, unless something walked around the corner after I looked away. Not finding anybody. There is nobody here in this first section. What about the second section? Hello? Really? Nobody? Well... That's a little disappointing. I was kind of hoping to be able to stab somebody when I got in here. Oh well. At least the music changed on its own. Yay. More stuff! Another fire bite. Shock bite battle axe is not too worth it. I'll take it anyway. Maybe I'll drop it later on if I have to. Two devil cephalopod helms? That's crazy. And can I grab the skull or anything? Nope. Okay. Uh, nothing on the main part of the tomb here. Everything's kind of a low level, it seems. But lots of good loot. Definitely very good loot spot. Ah, uh, more stall room. I wish I could get that, but I can't yet. We're going to have to progress in the Raven Rock quest to start getting access to stall room. Really should be not taking any of the potions so quickly. Ooh, finally something a little bit higher than 40. And it was unlocked fairly easily, too. Should have taken that one. I'll take that and that. Yeah, okay, okay, no. Well, that was a nice little bit of a detour. Paid off quite well, but no enemies. Which I find strangely disappointing. Oh, here comes somebody. A Tusk Bristleback. Who is soon going to die. You know, I'm starting to see the problem with this game. Kevin's weapons are too strong. I think I see something else in the distance, another wolf. If Kevin and his enemies were attacking each other constantly and neither of us were flinching, it would be a lot more of a an even battle. But when Kevin attacks somebody once or twice, they are probably going to go into eternal flinching until they die with how often they get attacked. But if Kevin gets attacked, then he either... Ooh. Goodness. Who's that guy? Are you a guy or a girl? Uh, certainly, but after I finished what I was saying, if Kevin gets attacked and he starts flinching or even falls down, he is almost guaranteed an instant death. So really, when it comes down to in this game, as soon as you get good enough, who's going to get the it, the ability to be it to attack first constantly without any major problems? Ingmar, what's up? Hail, Kevin. I'm not sure what your business is out here in the wild, but I'm glad you're not one of my Skull brothers. They'd surely wonder why I'm not inside the barrow killing the Valbrander Draugr. Can you please elaborate? I have no idea what you're talking about. Aye, it's the Draugr that resides here in Valbrander Barrow. I'm supposed to kill it, you see, single-handedly. Killing a Draugr is a task every Skull lad must complete before becoming a man. Only, I can't kill it. I've tried. It nearly slipped my throat. But I can't return to my village until it's dead. Say, maybe you could help. You could go with me, serve as a distraction. Um, hmm. That wouldn't be right. You've got to kill this creature yourself. All right, I'll help. No sense letting you get killed. Well, let me let's see what this is up here. Kill a Draugr single-handedly. Well, technically, if I'm not directly helping, it would be in the rules, right? Or it wouldn't be breaking the rules, at least. I can help, sure. Good. With your help, I'll make short work of the Draugr. Lead on, Kevin. I'll follow, and when we encounter the beast, you distract it while I attack. Please do not attack the Draugr. I alone must attack and kill it. At least then, well, I may retain a shred of my honor, and will at least feel like I earned my place among my people, even if I did get a little help. Well, I'm sure you'll get to be a much better warrior as time goes on, so don't worry about that. Okay, oh, hey, and I think somewhere in my magic, I should have a heal other spell. Not sure. Here it is. Heal Companion. Restore health on touch. So I'll use that if I absolutely have to. Is this the one? Yep. Um. There you go. Get him. 
Uh, this is actually rather easy for me. Oh, yay! And I can increase my block skill as well. Come on. Give me again. Come on. There you go. I almost never have the chance to increase my block skill unless I find a, find a uh, trainer for it. Are you almost done? There you go. Ingmar. By the gods, that was a good fight. Did you see me? I was magnificent. With the Draugr dead, I am truly a man. I've got to get back to the Skull Village and tell my brothers the good news. If you're ever in the village, come to my house and I shall greet you as a brother. Oh, and Kevin, I trust you'll keep this between the two of us. I wish I could offer some kind of reward, but I have so little. I know. I shall leave the Draugr's treasure be. It is yours, my friend. Take all you like. Well, thank you very much, sir. I will, however, raid the corpse. There's nothing in the corpse. I'll just leave the corpse. And was there something on the ground? No, that's your foot. Never mind. Huh. Kind of a small barrow. Very small barrow. With plenty of stall ream. That's rather exciting. I guess I'll grab anything that looks interesting. It looks like I can access this skull here. Which only has bone meal in it. Darn. Well, I got excited for nothing. And this one has... Amulet of shield. Yep. Can I access that guy? Uh, slightly. Nothing inside that one either. Uh, nothing else around, probably. I see some gold here, but that's probably it. So, thanks for the offer, but this wasn't totally worth it. Good job, though. I'm not the Draugr, I want to talk to Ingmar. Been helping yourself to the Draugr's treasure, I, I hope. Yes, I have. You have fun with that. Actually, can I ask him about the Valbrander Draugr again? Yes, I can. He's dead by my hand, finally. Thanks again for the assistance. You're welcome, and maybe this will help you get back on the road. Have a good day. Okay, so, where am I on my world map? Pretty far out from where we started, I guess. So not as far north as I was expecting to be. Man, it's hard to see. I don't remember blizzards back when I was playing this game previously. Not recently, but just previously. Huh. Looks like another wolf pack over there. They're going to steer cl clear of them. Ah, da 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 Where am I going next? I think I've gone a little too far to the right. Or am I... Yep. Right next to the ocean. Actually, if you remember, I'm going to try to find this real quick. If you guys remember all the way back at the airship episode, we read a journal that said that they threw an Argonian overboard because he went insane when the airship went too high up in the air and he was afraid of heights. He almost crashed the airship and the captain had no choice but to run him through and throw him overboard. Rather disappointing, but if we explore on the coast and look in the right spot, we can actually find the corpse of that Argonian. I think we just found the corpse of that Argonian. It is Good shot, by the way. Ten points for you. I think it was uh, Swims and Swells, was it? I don't remember, but I can't quite get up there. Here we go. Whoops. Nope, 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 nope. Come on now. Uh, here we go. I can jump on this rock and then over here. I got him for a second. Darn it. Got to push the A button a little bit faster. Okay. What if I... What is that? Is that a horker? I'll check it in a second. So what if I start off from over here? I can't see where I'm jumping. Couldn't jump high enough either. Okay! If I can't get it soon, I'm definitely going to use a levitate spell. Okay, last try. Ah! Oh, I got him! I was pushing the A button and then I ran right over him. Okay, definitely one more try because I was not expecting that to happen the way it did. Oop, oop! Yep, swims and swells. A steel dagger. Common, 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 common. Yeah, not too much. That's really worth it. But hey, at least we found the corpse. Kind of a nice little unintentional Easter egg of some sort. Now let's kill a horker. Horker's dead. And he had nothing for us. Okay, kind of a bummer. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode, everybody. I hope you all have enjoyed it. I actually did. This is a better exploration episode than what we did back at, like, episode 13 and 14 or something like that. That was a terrible example, but this was another example of a good one. 
Quite fun, too. Something is chasing me and wants to kill me. It's probably that wolf pack again. Nope, Tusk Bristleback. Okay, gonna kill you. And now you're dead. Bacon tonight, boys. But yeah, thanks for joining me. It was uh, quite fun. Next episode, we'll be doing a little bit more exploration. And hopefully it will be fun then as well. See you on the next episode, everybody. Take care until tomorrow. Actually, you should, after tomorrow's over, continue to take care because I wouldn't want any of you to get sick or hurt or in trouble or anything like that. See you tomorrow.